Hi everyone, it's time to show you my Archer and Olive journal flip through. I've had this for seven months, so it's completely full. I have used every single page, which I'm very excited about. And here we go, it was the Purple Moth, uh, Midnight Moth journal, sorry. Um, you can see it's worn off a little bit, and it's a little bit dirty, and it's well used. So, here we go. I had a theme of goth dolls in October. Which I still love looking at. In November, I did 3D and Zentangle. You can see more information about these trackers in my, I've got separate videos. This was an Archer and Olive handout which I found useful. It was all very black and white up to this point. I love this apple core. <laughs> And then in December I did penguins and so I painted a little penguin on watercolour paper and um, pasted it into my journal. This was a really great theme. I'm really disappointed with how much the um, ink from the stamps has gone through the page so I'm going to have to find a different ink I think. it's really ghosted badly after time it was fine when I first did it but then after a while it soaked through I adore these penguins they're so beautiful this little character this was my first time trying daily logs and I found it really useful. Um, more of that ink showing through. I haven't kept doing exactly the same thing, but it was nice to try the dailies for a while. And I had these cute stamps to, to do with it. This was a beautiful... Um, picture it's a, based on a photo of these two penguins that get together each night and keep each other company um, and I loved it so much that I decided to paint it my Christmas spread and then my end of year summary at the end of 2020 I really like how this turned out um, gee it was a bad year <laughs> for the world um, not much personal stuff, it's mostly um, what was going on in the world. Then I decided to try to be a little bit more bright in 2021. Aim high. I love giraffes. Then I did a, a lighthouse. This is actually yellow card, but when you put the glue behind it, the card changes colour. I have no idea why, but it looks okay, so, <laughs> oh well, I love this painting. This was a bit of a ground changer for me. Um, 
starting to do mental health spreads that gave me activities to do. Kept up the dailies a little bit in January, but they um, tended to, it wasn't, it wasn't very regular, like every few days. Basically days that I was, had things to do or needed to journal, as you can see on this page. <laughs> I love this theme. In February I did children's Australian classic children's stories and I had a lot of fun painting these ones. Metal headed wombat, blinky bill. Um, this was to try and learn what time of days I was eating because I realized after doing this that I need to be a bit stricter about meal times so that I don't snack as much but I love how this Dutch door turned out because you can hide you hide the figures and they look a bit different on each page I really love how that worked still doing dailies a little bit but not every day a bit like in January I painted these leaves on watercolour paper and then just um, cut them out and stuck them on. Then in March I did Animorphs, um, combining two different kinds of animals with using my Prismacolor pencils. This one was cute, my Bumble Hog. You can see here I've gone back to the weeklies. Um, didn't do dailies. Had a journal page. This Dutch door happened. It's not really a Dutch door. It just kind of happened because I needed some paper to cover up <laughs> an accident on another page. what I learnt about my meal times and I need to incorporate this in my new journal. My first attempts at a routine and I really went with this in April. So April, after my animals, this was a, it's not very clear this one, um, it's an owl crossed with a an ermine which is a type of um, weasel. And then in April I went to Art Deco posters, movie, movie and, and song, musical and song posters. And I started my Miracle Morning, which is getting up early in the morning and getting a whole lot of stuff done before I even start the day, which has been working really well for me. My Art Deco theme. Kind of ended up going with the red, blue and white, which, and black, which worked well, and my review, lots of ideas for my next journal. And then in the back, I had my pen test, which I talk about in my um, review of my Archer and Olive journal, and just some rough note pages. And that's it.